Jen from Fit Bottomed Girls here, and a couple weeks ago, I put together a stop doing list, which was based on an idea that Daniel Laporte had had that I had read that was like, totally flip your to-do list on its head, and instead of like creating more things to do, create a list of things that you're going to stop doing to help kind of liberate yourself, especially if you're someone like me, who is, <laughs> oh my gosh, so just governed by my to-do list every single day. It's like my, it's like my blueprint for the day. Um, and it's how I judge my stuff value. So my stop doing list included seven different options or seven different things. There it is. And I wanted to do a quick follow-up because I don't think it's fair <laughs> to write a post and then not do a follow-up on how that's going. And I also wanted to hold myself accountable because what's also the point of just putting something out there and then not actually, you know, following up to say, hey, did I do this or did I not do this? And where else can I continue to improve? So that's what I wanted to do today, step by step list number by list number. So the first thing I wanted to do in my stop doing list was to stop checking my email like a crazy person. And I've gotten mildly better at this, where I'm checking my email only in the morning when I get up and then kind of in the, um, like right after I eat lunch, and then I'll do a quick sweep before um, I head out for the day for, for, you know, stopping my work day. So I'm a little bit better about that, but it's still a little frantic, so I feel like I could probably continue to work on that. Number two, rushing through life, phone calls, um, everything. So, yeah, I'm a little bit better about that. Uh, I think that when I take time away, I tend to actually take a little bit of time um, and I'm able to distance myself from my to-do list and just kind of relax and enjoy, but I could definitely continue to slow down a little bit for sure. Uh, number three, skipping yoga. I'm so happy. This is like the one I actually did. I've done yoga a couple times a week. I've gone to my first prenatal yoga classes, and they've been really great and really fun, and I've met new moms, and it's been it's been awesome. So I'm really glad that I've stopped skipping yoga. I'm actually going to yoga now and really, really enjoying looking forward to it. Um, fourth is doing projects or anything really that I'm not passionate about. This is a hard one because I like to please people, and I like to say yes, yes to good opportunities. But I've been better about checking in with myself and saying, yes, I should do this. No, I shouldn't do that. Um, and I've actually said no quite a bit lately. Um, I've said no to a lot of different different things that have come this way that I just simply do not have time for and don't have 100% passion for. So yay for me on that one. Um, the next one is overextending, which I feel like is so closely tied to that other one. And for this one, it's still a balance and something I can continue to work on. But I've been a bit better about saying you know what, no, I don't need that extra workout. I don't need to go the extra mile here. Um, it's fine if, you know, I don't do that post today if I go ahead and do it tomorrow. Um, or if I make an easy dinner and don't, like, cook something really, really nice, that's okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing a little bit better with that. Uh, six, holding on to expectations. <laughs> this is one of those, too, that I... Oh, I'm such a control freak, which is why I'm doing this list. Um, but yeah, I will continue trying to let go of expectations, but I'm still still holding on to, to some things. So another one for me to stop doing. And then my final one is judging myself, my value, based on my silly to-do list, which I feel like I have been, I have been a little bit better. Um, I have been able to break up with my to-do list a little bit and create a little bit of distance between my confidence level and my to-do list. So even if I don't get everything done, it's cool. What I have been doing that's actually been really helpful, and that might be helpful for you if you're like me, um, is that I, in the morning, will just like start a couple of items on my to-do list, um, just the bare minimum, like one or two things. So I'm like, if I get these two things done, no matter what else happens the day, like during the day, I, I should feel successful because I, I completed two really important things. So that's kind of been my trick and it's helped a little bit. Um, and I just had to kind of made peace with pushing some things to the next day, pushing some things to next week, and just lowering some expectations. So I guess I am letting go of holding on to those expectations a little bit more than I realized. Anyway, um, I'd love to know if you guys created a stop doing list and what was on it and how it's going. And I will continue to keep you informed on my progress because, hey, life is always better when we work 
you know, a little bit harder to make it better. And so sometimes it just takes a second to step out from yourself and say, hey, how could I, how could I make my life better? What little steps could I take? And these are definitely seven little steps that I can take to be a little healthier and a little happier. So hope everything is going well for you and your stop doing list. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. And I will talk to you later. Thanks so much. Bye.